We're here. What is this place, Daddy? It's called Graffiti Alley. Graffiti Alley is the only legal art space in Baltimore City where street artists can create their work freely. This innovative space helps keep young artists much safer and avoid confrontations with the law. Located next to Graffiti Alley, Graffiti Warehouse offers unique shooting space for photographers and videographers. And so we made our way amazed by the colorful walls, past some discarded spray paints on the ground to explore the alley. Graffiti is a spellbinding art form. It's incredible how so many different styles and forms can still come together and blend into one big masterpiece. What does the word mean? Good question, Maya. The word graffiti comes from the Italian word graffiato, which means to scratch or etch a surface, which was the ancient way of creating graffiti. Artists would carve walls or use chalk to create messages and tell stories. The term graffiti originally referred to the inscriptions and drawings found on walls of ancient sepulchers in Rome and Pompeii. Time passed, graffiti was used as a means of making announcements and advertising. The earliest signs of graffiti in the US were found on train cars. They were created by rail workers and homeless in the 1890s. In World War II, it was common for soldiers to graffiti all over the battlefield. The graffiti Kilroy was here became part of the American pop culture after soldiers used it during World War II. Daddy, when did they start using spray paints? Daryl McRae, better known as Cornbread, is widely considered the first modern graffiti artist to use spray paint. He painted walls and subways in Philadelphia in the late 1960s. Quickly, his movement spread to New York City, where legends like Taki 183, Seifer, Dondi, Phase 2, Lee Quinones, and Scene. And also, from New York is the most famous girl graffiti artist, Lady Pink. Tag is the simplest style of graffiti. It's one color and it includes the artist's name. Throw up is a little bit more complicated than a tag. It usually has two or more colors and it's in bubble style lettering. A blockbuster is a massive throw up usually in blocky letters. They're meant to cover a large area in a small amount of time. Wild Style is an elaborate version of a throw up and it's particularly hard to read. Wild Style often consists of arrows, curved spikes and other elements. A piece is the most complex and labor intensive graffiti painting. In it, the artist incorporates all his skills, including 3D effects, and color transitions. Shorthand for masterpiece, it is considered to be the fullest and most beautiful work in graffiti. When you explore art, no matter which discipline, you learn. Graffiti has long been a misunderstood art form, yet it shines bright in colors shapes, textures, message, and composition. If you take away something from this video, it's to always remember to find your own way. So, how did you like our little field trip? I loved it! Yeah? Well, we hope you did too. If you did, please press like. And also, please punch that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications when our next video is about to come out.
That was it for today's episode. We hope to see you soon in Art with Alex and Maya. Bye.